Buying streaming gear like a green screen to achieve a similar camera style to bigger creators can be expensive. So this is a free way for you to remove your background in OBS without having to pay for a screen or any software. So first of all, you need to download this, which is the Prism Lens app completely for free and it can be used on any device. It supports Windows, Mac and mobile. So I'll leave the link below so you can get that going for yourself. And then when you open it up, you'll see along the top here, it has Prism Lens 1, 2 and 3. We're just gonna need one of these here. So click on the first one or whichever you like and then we're good to go. Then on the right hand side here, you'll see the drop where you can select your webcam or your camera depending on what you're going to be using when you stream then to the right of that little drop down you just used you'll see that little camera icon here you're going to want to click that to check to configure it because when i opened it for the first time it lowered my camera's resolution to around 720p for some reason so i had to change that back up to 4k so it's just worth checking whatever you want your resolution to be is correct on this first then at the bottom left you'll see the size of the image too again mine set itself down to 720p so i changed it back up to 1920 by 1080 which is typically what's best for obs but again pick whichever you like and once you've done that you can now remove your background so on the right you can see that the option at the top is called just straight up remove background and you can do it this way but i did have two issues with this one was the fact that it kind of had a bit of the background coming through if you move around it kind of tears through a little bit and the second is it was using a lot more of my cpu and gpu which isn't ideal if you're going to be streaming on top of using this so instead i recommend googling a green background image it doesn't really matter what it is try and make it 1920 by 1080 if you can but again doesn't matter too much save that to whichever device you're using so for me it's my pc then head back to prism lens and click on the option that says my on the right hand side and then you'll see you can add your own images and there is where you're going to be adding your green image that you just saved and now you'll see that behind you when you click that is a green background which will then remove in obs when we put the camera there again you can do this either way so don't stress about doing it exactly like i have i just found that for my pc for some reason doing it with the green background was using way less resources of my pc which means that when i stream it's going to stress my pc less the next step is to like the video if you haven't already if you're finding this helpful it will help me out and it'll help other people like you find videos like this one and then open your obs because now we're going to add in the camera but make sure you like the next part super easy too you just add a video capture device like this as you normally would for any webcam or camera in obs and in the drop down here you would select whichever prism lens you just used and it'll add it in for you so for me that was prism lens one we're going to be adding now if earlier in the video you used the remove background option at the top without doing the green image you will now be done you'll notice that you now have a camera with no background that you can move around and you're good to go however if like me you didn't want to stress your pc as much and use the green image you simply have to click on filters under your preview in obs here then select the chroma key option then in the list here just make sure it's removing green as the color option mine did this automatically for me but there is a drop down to change it and you can mess with the sliders here as well to smooth out the kind of background crop a little bit too if you need to and then once you've done that you are also finished the only other thing you've got to do is when you're live just keep prism lens open in the background just so it knows that it's pulling the camera across actively but otherwise you are good to go with no background and if you want something else for free there is my website in the description below where i have a bunch of free twitch artwork for you to get going with super basic stuff but it's there if you need it i also have my discord down below there too if you want to join our growing community of creators and streamers like you and in the meantime here is your last chance to subscribe in this video to stick around for more helpful videos like this on your streaming journey and here's another video for you that you might find helpful and hopefully i'll see you again soon Mwah.